that uh, customers can be able to ask questions, post um, issues that they are having with our templates. And all our, all our templates, we sell them on creative markets. And then we also support those customers who buy those templates uh, from the creative markets uh, in our forums. So maybe just to define what creative markets are. These are platforms which allow designers and developers to sell their digital goods as individuals or as a collaboration team. So a collaboration team is where, let's say you're good in design and you have someone else good in coding. So you can team up, create a profile, and you can sell your stuff, and then you share it. So that's how collaboration team works. So our design process, we just want to go through just a profile of ourselves, then we go to how to sell our stuff online. Our design process um, starts with creating a concept. And by concept, I mean if you, if you look at the different sites that you have, any site that you have which has a certain layout. If it's professional, it will be more of blog type of designs. When you have a blog on a slider, some content, so that's what they call professional design. Or restaurant style, or church templates. So different concepts have different approaches whenever it comes to design templates. So we identify what is the design the concept we want to work on. And then we start designing the concept, the concept on Photoshop. We use Photoshop in another tool called MKCAW. So the, the design process is basically to help us come out with a layout. But we define layout of the template, after which we go into development and code. So coding and development takes like two weeks, by uh, design takes another one week, one week and a half. So in general, the whole process takes close to a month. After the design development and the testing, you make sure you can you can do the, the template to put on your phone, on a tablet, on the computer. And it's fully responsive and no bugs. After that, we publish it to a marketplace. So, publishing to a marketplace, uh, the marketplace has reviewers. So, once you push it online, the marketplace reviewers will either tell you it's good enough for the market or not. So, you, you have an option of rejection. Right. Um, so, you know. This is how the, the marketplace works. The marketplace creates a platform where creative, you can upload creative work as an author. So you can define, you can choose a platform, let's say it's WordPress, if you're interested in CMS, you can have CMS, uh, WordPress templates, Google templates, HTML templates. You can even upload um, code, that, let's say you're in PHP or Ruby, we built an application, you can upload it and sell it online. And they define the, the, the commission that you receive for every sale. So let's say you have a project manager. They'll give it a price of $25 per sale, and then you'll be getting 50% of the sale of, 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 of every sale. Then the more sales you make, the more commission you get up to a maximum of 17%. Um, then the, the staff will review your work. They look for bugs, they look whether the design meets a one class design. But you remember you are shipping you're shipping products from the mass market and the international So try you always try and see what you can do out there. Don't limit yourself to the knowledge that you have as a designer. Look at if you have a triple account, follow a few guys who are really good at design, see what the eye components and the additional templates, and also try and avoid trends. Like 2000, up to 2010, the trend for Apple was still more So if you're coming up with that, just don't know. You can explain to us your model. It's really a trend. Yes, exactly. So it's where you, you're trying to copy really what the 
So if it's a clock, you try to make the clock to look like a, 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 a wristwatch or a clock that is, that is you know, a watch. So that was in nothing to say. After 20, between 2011 and 2012, people started to design. Flat design is where it's just, it's a button is just a single button without shadows, without rounded, too much of rounded corners. So that is the trend coming. After that, the market trend. So always be in the moment of what is a trend. The design trend. So I started learning HTML and CSS. 
that's when there was no HTML5. It's not more cool, it's like four years. So HTML5 was still very new for testing it out in the beginning. So I started learning something. So our first point is identify what you are doing. There's something that's when you start you know, playing with your kids, you, know, you just get absorbed. It's designing, it's coding, it's just writing. You may just be good at writing articles. There's a market out there for articles. People who just need somebody to write press releases, and you pay them, and they charge you like uh, maybe a hundred dollars. So that is a skill that you have. It can be talk, it can be like anything. So first, identify what you're good at, and then if you realize there's nothing good to yourself. So I've got some guys are good at fighting. So you can't sell them. You have to find out what is good for you to sell. What do people need out there? And learn something new. If you're good in coding, try and couple it in with design. Because at some point, you can write a very nice application that they have. The front end doesn't look good. Most companies locally you know that they are looking for. There's a vast, uh, there's a very and for UI designers. If somebody can come and design an Android application, they will develop an Android application functions. Most of the Android applications that I've seen for parts, they are very funny buttons for payment. The UI is so confusing, you wonder what you are you have to call this one again. But if, if you look at applications like the ones you download on App Store or Google Play, they're really well designed. You can't compare what you see here and what you download there. So, Look at what other people are doing and also try and learn one more skill that will try and come on what you know and give out a better product to the world. Then focus on one thing and do it really well. Um, we find that there's so many people around who want to do web application, they want to do standalone application, they want to try some design Photoshop or illustrator. Uh, at the end of it all, you find you, you get one client here, one client there. And I, I guess most of you will be launching our school. It's time for most of you are kind of here. So you'll find this, so many requests about one thing or the other. But if you don't identify what you want to do, you'll always be jumping around and you'll not devote your skills or learn your learning skills to that company. So identify one thing that you really like. And focus on that. Just be good at it. If it needs online, just go online and check what are the tutorials that I can get online. And <clears throat> learn everything about that one. And then also check what other people are doing in the specific that niche and do it better. So you find people are designing a certain application and they're using one certain format. Try and see how they can do it. Not only doing what you are doing. You may find that will be now the niche that will raise the application high for your website or your templates a bit higher than what other people do. Okay. How many are familiar with Bootstrap? Yeah. A lot of frameworks out there, initially when they started, they started with a desktop first approach, meaning they first code it for the web for the desktop, then they go to mobile. But foundation, I think, I'm not, if I'm not wrong, it was foundation which was the first one. They started with the mobile because when they did the statistics, they realized it's almost like 60% of people who are accessing websites and applications using a phone. People are moving away from the desktop. So if we design all the websites or the framework for that matter with desktop first approach, it's kind of issues on your bandwidth, then you get, you know. A lot of images that you don't need, so you have to put in so much code in your application or your website. Try and tell the browser to listen for certain images or certain code on mobile. So they brought the mobile first approach, bootstrap, bootstrap thing, adopted it, and so many other remarks are adopted it. So rather than going with the trends, what are people doing? Try and see where are where is the world of technology for it? And build your application. <laughs> So, these are not all, but some of the types of content that you can, <clears throat> that you can build.
So starting with templates, themes, web applications. It doesn't have to be a very big application. It can be a good manager. <coughs> um, stock photos. Sometimes you like people are passionate about photo photography. So you have a camera and you know what you just maybe you hope of being ready for this. So you can sell actually um, stock photos, vectors, icons, textures, logos, presentations. Like the presentation templates are just like if I was I want to buy a template for this presentation, I'll just go to graphics, people and look for a design that looks appealing to me, like so with someone who thought about that and created a template. Uh, flyer designs, business cards, CMS plugins, 3D models if you're passionate about graphics, CG graphics, store footage, that is what all I'm sure you've seen like, um, like a media houses. They bring selling adverts, they use actually stock footage to do that, stock music, tutorials, <coughs> good with tutorials, sound effects, music tracks, game assets, so much more. So there's a whole lot of stock content that you can create. And in my market is one of the biggest markets where you can sell your stuff in because it has eight platforms. First is the forest, which is the biggest seller, where you can sell any type of templates. So if you go to the forest or to next, you'll find all these other things out next or the free, just to go to the party. Code Canyon is for selling code. So any type of code, if it's JavaScript, PHP, you can build an application for any code that you need. Even for CSS markers, simple things like CSS markers. I tried it out, I uploaded um, some CSS markers, and they sold like over 500 sales. So if you do the math, you actually see that the sales is not about it. So you're targeting a mass market. So even something strong, you need price for three dollars, two dollars, you sell five hundred sales for an item of just two dollars, you'll make thousand dollars. If you get fifty percent of that, that is good enough. And if you run a map, then you keep doing that. Then graphics river you create posters, flyers, uh, Photoshop, anything related to graphics, illustrators, um, in design or anything that has Something to do with graphics. I'll be jungle. You might find yes, you need the science when you're watching the photo music. You have a keyboard at home, you have a, you have a guitar or something. You can produce that music in terms of some tracks or even noises like I've got it my bikes. Yeah. So they, they, they praise it at one dollar and make it sales. That is still a market. But you can actually create create it for two sales. So you can take small, small noises that you know, a dog banging, someone sleeping, you laugh, you laugh, you laugh, then you upload it. What are doing is for photos, video graph, video highlights for videos, a stock footage, active names for flash, but as you know, flash is a bit, it's a bit back in the day because each time I can use a cover, might for flash, but it's still there. Tweets plus, for tutorials, if you're good in any Tutorial that you want to give a talk. Normally, what they do is it's a based on subscription. So you create a video, you create videos like tutorial, and then people will subscribe to that and tutorial, which you receive a commission from the same. Then, in Battle Studio, is mainly for selling your services. If you're not going to give any of the creative content, you can still create an account in Battle Studio and sell, let's say, web. WordPress installation or Joomla installation, any, any CMS installation, editing, or support. So you just give it a thing. They have a price range where you can save for installation, for WordPress installation, that charge $60. So you find there's so many problems. They already got a template. But you just want someone to install it just as it is, and they just pay you $60. And that brings the whole aspect of it. All that time you have, you know, after, after, after some time you have to go to you get find yourself in the and if you don't get the in between, 
where your levels are one and right now there's so much you can do that's um that will benefit you that's that so and back to itself it's a company that was formed in 2006 and so far they've been progressing because it's, it's actually built around the community and the community has grown to a point where right now is they have six million six million plus or subscribers online out of the six million one million and for instance, in 2014, they paid out to the 20 million commissioners, commissioners sorry, to 4 million dollars. So you can imagine, um, they, they, move, they, they really have a platform that is well built, and every year they keep on raising their bars uh, in terms of sales, in terms of products. They review also their quality. So you find that if you never venture into contacts, you may have and then you get, it gets rejected because you want to make better at items which have been provided. Out of the 30, each are made of 90 million. That is something that can sustain you when you decide to go food without any support. So, and most people actually know that most of the authors, after some time, they start maybe when they're working out, or maybe when they are employed. After some time, you meet as a, as a side job, you realize it's, it's more demanding for the side job than your main job, and then you finally launch into full time freelancing. One of, one of these actually authors has made about 450 million by selling only one. But it's, it requires like building something really good that should always be a bestseller. Every every time, I mean, no, a bada, a bada is very well dressed. Yeah, a bada has really sold well, and we started on the party. So just a collaboration between a designer and a good boy. So they made something that people really wanted, and they still go the past. So basically, that's. The other marketplaces is creating market.com, which has more graphics and templates. For me, there's more to market, and more to marketplaces, and a few others. So, <coughs> last thing I'll say, what Steve, I just echo what Steve just said. Design is not just what it looks like, it feels like, but design is. So whenever you're making something, just always remember that design is not just how it looks, but look also the functionality. And with that, I'll be talking to the professionals. So the price is determined by the reviewers. We have uh, reviewers who review a work. So they look each marketplace, each category, let me say each category has a predefined range. Like if it's what HTML templates, they range between nine dollars to sixteen sixteen seventy dollars, depending on the features. So you'll either get a price range between them. So all you do is uh, finish the work and then you submit the yeah, they decide on the price. What's some of your biggest failures or experience when you're launching your own? Some of your biggest failures. Okay, one of I'd say when I was starting off, I, I was starting off with HTML. So after maybe one year, uh, people want to want HTML five. Because there was a change, there was a transition. But I don't think that was the biggest, the biggest thing of the connection because my first design was in that. And um, I think we were rejected like five times. So I've had to go like one month to see you guys. That was the main thing. That thing was finances because I was actually working. so. Transition between working and 
WordPress is SMOL. So just to try and get a framework for WordPress, a framework that has a free version of the template, and then build on that based on that. And you find it much easier than that application. So I have a question for you, John. Yes. So how is your market divided in terms of uh, local market and global market? Local market and global market. Um, when I look at the statistics, the global market takes a big chunk of it. Let's say 95 percent. I hear locally. I don't think many people people might know about your, your template, but they find there's so many other free online online templates that they want to use. But for those people who do, like there are few people who work my templates, um, I look at them maybe in Pakistan, but just one or two or three. But by and by, there's a lot that's coming up. Many because the more they realize that they can actually get a template, if they get a project for 25 hours, and you get a template for 25 hours, and it actually fits your budget and fits the design of the most people buy. So that this is a you when you're thinking about the design? Yes, it does. Even the way you present yourself, the way you market your if, like for instance, you find some of my templates I actually put foreigners, like photos of the profile I use foreigners, because that appeals to that market. But by and by, you know, I miss a little bit of foreigners. As well. So the way you package yourself also presents to them that you are. You are some of them even think of the US, they want to call you a little bit, but it's because of the way you present yourself. He's asking about the images that we use on the template. Um, most of the templates, the images that we use on our templates, we usually buy them because that also um, will help you to be legit. Whenever you're selling stuff online, you don't want to be sent a DCMA. A DCMA, DCMA is a, a notice of a takedown. So somebody, if you use a pirated image, somebody can send a DCMA to that site or that template or that uh, marketplace and it will be taken down. So it's best to buy items and have the licenses so that anything, if anyone will question why you're using that image to, to present your template, the moment has Even the design, don't just copy any design. Maybe you go to Microsoft.com and you like the design of the template that looks like Microsoft. Someone will come and you know the designer of the site that site will come and say, This is a copy of my site, and they can actually take you down. So just try and be as creative as possible. You can get ideas, be inspired from different sites. Like I saw a, a list of um, the 30 best designs in Nairobi. I think I, I reached number 15, I got sick, but they're, they're really like very free templates. They're not something that you can say the best design of them. But um, most of them, maybe they copy it. What other people are doing just, you know. So it's like. Sorry. It's like a Patenting. Okay, what happens? Like, if it's my image, the images that I buy, they already have a license. So when I buy them online, they give you a like a file which has a license to it. Um, in terms of patenting, let's say for stock photos, you need like if I want to take a photo of a model, I need the model to sign a document which can go to the you, and then that will become the model license. So in case the person asks, why use my photo? Then you can just present it. Then you should be sure to actually package it with your with your stock photos. And you have to, but if it's just nature, that you don't have to It's buildings. Some buildings might require you to like, ask for permission, permission to just take photos. But especially for models, if there's a photo, there's a face to that photo, like 
can identify a good place, we need to have a license. That person gets a license. Even if it's your what what should be your best advice for if some of us would like to venture into the same and you start in terms of why how you started and how you got people to know what it is. Mainly that you like which which models you can see there in our models. Well starting off um Maybe I, I just accept it with one template and then try and manage it as much as possible. Social <coughs> media, to your friends, to your followers. And then after some time, you get a follower, I mean, a few followers. And then with the first template, you usually don't have to get so much. Yeah. But after, after you realize, after, after your followers realize what you're doing, because on Inforage, you also get followers to identify your sale. Let's see your progress. So the second item that I said, that's when you now start getting guys who are difficult to be and they'll always be like this. So initially, just to, just to do something good that people realize there's talent in this guy or in this company. And after that, at first, we can start from anywhere in your single dealer. You can set up where you don't have any cost. You can give it a four, as I said. The laptop just starts you know, designing or coding. Then you launch it off. There, there are forums where you can present it. It's an allows you to design something, place it there, and get creatives. Just to say, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with my design? And look at some, some good creatives. Implement them, launch it again. Dribble is for designers, so you can put it's a design, you can put it on Dribble. And see what we work next and how to see what to do. So I think that's what I can see. When you start off with trying to read them and what what people need, what are people saying about your templates. And from there you can find the correction of the people. Whenever you get your templates, do you No, the price you can't you can't change that because it's defined by the price. So the, the updates are free, support is free. But later on this year, I think they want to introduce paying support because um, some offers don't actually support them. They just upload it, and that's that they, they get the money, but they don't support it. They only get this part. So uh, they realize that is also causing some bias to be biased. So, um, yeah, so when you update, it's good to give your, your templates updated. There's a new version of your framework, um, implement it. Because your customers will actually realize you are proactive. You want to give them the latest versions. And sometimes you find the bugs which can make can cause their yeah, sites to be compromised. Like let's say a hole somewhere in the kitchen that would mean that you have the next system so that they get their hands. So with the updates, you don't increase the price, but you get the royalty. That is more. Always remember, like when you're selling the content, the price should be the lowest because you're, you're targeting the mass market. And just think about the ways Safari can make them. They only make them like three shillings, five shillings, every year. So if you can even do the system like this, that you're not targeting so much money, like a million bucks or a million shillings every sale, just small, smaller sales, amount of um, revenue. The mass that is where I think the, the big guys are. Now. You can take cases of pipes. Pipes. Yeah, lots of them. How do you do this? Um, I don't think you've been. Eliminate piracy in its entirety. But initially, there is the what I mentioned about DCMA. You find someone else, let people buy your template and they go to a foreign site or like a pirate based site equivalent and they upload your template and they just give it up. So you can take, you can issue a DCMA, 
just get the phone online and tell them why you think this is your work, this is your, your the original creator. And then they take it down. But again, that you can only do it for. Once you take it down, you see another thing. Some of my techniques are better online, but you can't just like, you just do what you're doing and the rest will take care of itself. Because the, the, the model of here that you can use with environments is maybe maybe 10 percent. After some time, the, the guy who bought it at very um, they usually not keen in updates. So you find the person who buys it, their, their customers actually come and tell you, they bought it and they downloaded it from somewhere, but now they don't support it. So they so just want to buy it, to do it. You get access to the forum and they see what you do. <laughs> You can lock it so I can get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they, we, we, they tried it actually. They tried putting in a system in the template. The moment you have your template, you check that license. You check that license that it's unique in the forest, but there was a debate on their part that I think they scrapped it out. So it wasn't, it wasn't logical for, for in most cases because they were saying, I can buy the template and then I I want to give a developer. So if they check it against my name, and then the developer is one who register on the forest to get support or something, it won't, the, their APIs will be able to, to trace that. So I think they they want. <laughs> but it's actually a key thing because you think about you put effort into it, you design the circuit for like a month or something, and then you get it on the carry. So it's really frustrating, but I think they're still working on something better and can help people not to do it just like supposing I make a very good review. Yes. Uh, how much can I leave? Come on. Let's just your estimates of such as how much I like it. Which thing? Returns. Yeah, the returns. If it's okay for Joomla, you can make ten cells a week. Five to ten cells. And if a cell if one cell is one to dollars, so times ten. If you're starting out, you get $50. But that is when you already started out. <laughs> Most people get the first template you get maybe five or two sales a week. Two sales, which is so when you're starting off, you know, but if it's, some, if it's something really good, I've seen people who upload their first item and it really does work. And they really focus on it, they update it, they add features. Like if it was just a single site, you add a shopping cart, for um, the more the more additions you add, more sales. And sometimes, the forest, what they do, they, they, they let's say they share your link on, on the social media, so you get so many more so many people. Even for HTML, even HTML has more demand than for initial events. Um, you can get maybe yeah, about 10 cells, 10 minutes. But based on the design data, business design is on the restaurant has a bit less. It's an admin type that means has more demand. Templates because most people use them to integrate existing systems. How do people are putting all of this in 
which can take between um, it takes up to a of seven days. Like if they find something wrong with it, they will solve it. So objective means that you want to solve it. Publishing also might take another day, another day or two. Or so I usually give it a week, just forget about it, about other things, because you can, you can die of anxiety when it is good. So if you follow it, they have on their knowledge base, they have the guidance on the different items. It's one price, they say this is what we check. So if you can do all that, just make sure that you all can pass the checks. can take three days. Yeah, there's a... Uh, Actually, the forest has their own forum. So, how much can I come? Actually, like, if I get somebody else in the forum, I'll have the time. I'll just go and say, change this stuff. You know, try and give people tips on what they can improve so that they can help them. So, you can, or you can tweet me and then I can just tell what you need to improve. Can you tell me what you need to improve? Fonts, yes. <coughs> uh, for fonts, fonts you don't need to buy because Google fonts has like over 600 fonts. Yes. You can use them. Just, um, I don't think, I've not seen anyone buying fonts. But there are so many good fonts. Yes. Awesome. You want to to, 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 to be linked to, um, to a function, a human function, yeah. by some yeah. that they have touch. How do you call the human touch? In, 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 so, uh, okay, for their watch, they, they call it in JavaScript, especially in JavaScript. You can listen to events. So, events can vary from a touch or a target It's a target. So, you listen to certain events using JavaScript. This is what I can say. So, if you're building a, an, an application, you add a JavaScript which can listen to. Certain, certain events on that part, it's a key or something. But normally, if you just create an HTML, what you need to do, you want now it to be redirected to another link. Just put the data in the HTML data. Just put the HTML. That's, that will now redirect to You said it listens. Yeah, okay, I'm just using, I don't know how you can put it. It listens for any event that like let's say for instance, if I if I have a button here and I tap like that, it listens for that tap. The code itself, the, the, the JavaScript code, it has a handle, what, what I can call a handle that listens for an event for the user. What if I have answered you already? Not confident. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. More questions? Comments? So have you learned anything? What you are doing? A lot, isn't it? So yes. You have, you talked about uh, yeah. So other than just having a computer, are there any other initial capital? Are there any other initial capital? Are there any other software as you use that you have to buy? Are there any software as you use that you have to buy? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't buy any. 
applications. I used to use Notepad Plus, Sublime Text. Sublime Text is also free. It's a free version. So, in terms of softwares, I think I need software. So I just use Photoshop. I use, <laughs> I use a pirated until the day that leaves. So, yeah. Sometimes you make do with what you have until, until when you buy it. But the best option is to buy it. If you find a tool that you want, like there's what they call the Adobe Muse. So the Muse is a package of the creative, the CC package. So with Adobe Muse, you need to buy it. So, if it's a scenario like that, it's all the best. But other than the laptop and your time, the two times you need what you that's all you can And I wrote my girl with this other one. I started out on Windows, then landed in Mac. So, it's not perfect. As long as you have all the tools that you need. And most of the tools you can actually use in So if you're on Mac, if you're on Mac, you have Linux, there's still tools you can use. But you told the Mac, Sorry? Mac comes with more productivity. I get this to make it. Uh, well, for, for people who go to Mac, you, you want to go back to Windows, that's productive. Once you go to Mac, you're not going back. Yeah, there's no going back. So, <laughs> And also for designing, if you're interested in like if you're so passionate about design, they say Macs have something to design. You go to any media house, any design house, you always find a piece of Macs. I think it's the yeah. design people. So they are even out of productivity, like my productivity increased, like maybe one and a half fold. Just Yeah. What is the conversion rates? Uh, what is the difference? Now, when you're selling, when, since you're selling online, you'll need to have a platform where you can receive funds. Like, no, okay. Currently, it's only EPT that has linked with PayPal. And I think other banks, I don't know if other banks will go up, but EPT has a program where you can register with them. And all your funds that you receive on PayPal, you can transfer to account for a week. For myself, I use Peonia. Peonia is a cheaper, it's a cheaper option. It's called Peonia. P-A-Y-O-N-I-O-E-R. -E um, they have an option that they give you a credit card. Actually, a debit card for you. Deposit the funds there. And then they use a daily rate. Like currently, if they're using an 88. It is the dollar. So it was like two shillings, but it's not that bad. Yes, you can. Yeah, yes, you can. There's like a small script you can upload in the lighting description that tells you how many page views you've got and even the countries. So you just put like a script, it links. I can't remember that name of this page, but it's actually just a small. Yeah, I use Google Analytics, but there's, there's another one that tells you which which page has been viewed, how many times, and even shows you the countries. That can help you know where you can ask. I don't I don't feel track. I don't feel track. But I think maybe around half maybe 20 to 30,000 visits. On my site, on on, on, on the um, course pages, I don't know. I have a track, I have a track. But on my site, mostly they are repeat customers who are coming for support because my forum is on, is on my site. So the moment after they buy, they come to my site. Do you have a support team? Yeah. I know that you have a support team. So. Does it get to my one? Yes, you, you get like 10 questions a day. Yeah, but that is after, let's say, like you're done enough for two years. So you get like 10 questions every day. But it's manageable because most of the things, if you're familiar with HTML, let's say you're selling HTML, it's 
susah. Actually, that's the idea. Five minutes. So if I do like this one hour, I can do it. So I would also go to the shop. Unless something is a bad and I need to investigate something. But for other platforms, you may find you may need a tool of reason. It's like what price? You need two or three. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. You can either go for the high see like now when you're choosing the platform, the same as platform, you can choose what rest, but to make templates for my image, like for restaurants. So you would be competing against the very big names which are already established in one press templates. So you would be competing against the micro niche restaurants or churches, which are templates. So that's, that's how you can get go for something like WordPress and make from make templates for online to reach. Yeah. 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 So, if you look at the plugins that sell well, the best selling plugins, you find they sell between um, almost like about 100 sales a day. So, this is a visual, comp visual composer, is one of the best plugins for other stores. Allows us to drag and drop components without a code. They have sold 1,175 sales in a week. You can go for maybe something lower than that, maybe a slider, which is just a plugin that sold $100. 100 times. That's the sales sales. Hundred sales times twenty. Yeah. Just click on this is the code. Yes. Then uh one is 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 one then you put a chart where someone can come and put the code Yeah, that's what. Um, well, that would be a problem. So you can still do like there are people who, let's say, you know about WooCommerce. WooCommerce. You can create a plugin that writes on WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a WordPress plugin, but you can create a component and add on to WooCommerce, which is like a script or another script of another. And people still buy it. So, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying because you know, uh, what I think here is that the shipment is not a system. Yeah. What is the future of this? But you can build it on the data. So, the there, they are built the database. Yeah. Uh, and then, when someone has a one message, yeah. that's just for the platform. Yeah. And with the customer hands and use the chat, the chat, yeah. instead of printing it to the, to the, the switch itself, yeah. it still remains to the workplace. But here's the piece. Yeah, I think so. In that case, what you'll do is create that standalone application, sell it independently, but add that functionality of linking to WordPress. And you can see, like, these are um, some of the. You see. Like this is a school quiz. This is a data manager PHP system. This is a client manager, like a small CRM. And they make like 30 sales, 30 sales in a week. So you can build your application like that. 
then link it, have another plugin. Let's say you can actually make the plugin for linking to address as a separate item, which you also say. Am I answering your question? So, yeah, it can work. It can work. Sell because there are people who might not want to use WordPress. So when you sell it as a standalone, you cater for both markets. And then the people who want to link it, like achievements to, to WordPress, they can buy your additional plugin, add it to their WordPress, and then they can track their sales. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, not, it's still still the same thing. I mean, you can you can give it up for free. You can find, put it in into your standalone application. Give it for free. Negative feedback. Negative feedback. Like from the people by Yeah, yeah. A lot of it. <laughs> like you know, you suck. Yeah. Yeah, the people even abuse your mama or something. And you just have to deal with them. Because part of the you know you're dealing also with people. Even if they are online, they still have their own stresses to find. So they'll come and vent it on you. Your application is actually perfectly okay. But they'll just rate it one star and say it's useless, it's anything. Or you just say, all you do is just do is tell them, okay, I'm sorry you feel that way, and move on. Yeah. You look at the other hundreds, hundreds of half clients and you forget about that one guy <laughs> who's making your life difficult. So that's how we do it. So just, just, yeah. And you get a few goals. Yes, you can link. Like if you go at the top bar, where you have like selected the Code Canyon marketplace, if I come here to CSS, I can look at popular popular items. So when I click on popular items, I can see people looking for menus, mobile pets. Uh, what else? Menus. I think menus is the most popular. Or alternatively, you can go to a sub section. Let's say it's CSS. Um, let's say pricing tables. Then look at what is the best seller items make per uh, item. So you see that. The, the, So try and see what people are making, the top seller items are making, then try and see if there's demand. If that item makes it to the popular, popular list, then it means people want that particular item. So this is the sales, this is the price they get, this is the number of sales they have made in total so far. This is my tables. I just created um, pricing tables. Five dollars. They give it for five dollars. They price it at five dollars, and it's not doing badly. It's somewhere in between them. So, yeah, that's my. But I've never updated it ever since 2013 or 2012. I've never updated because CSS you don't need to really maintain it. So it's only like scripts, like JavaScript. PHP that you need to maintain. Make sure it's running. It's 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 compatible with the latest PHP version, or if it's Ruby or anything in the other. But CSS, you maybe need to fix bugs. After the first two bugs, just leave it there. Let it run the sales of when you do something. Else. So you can start with things that you don't need to really maintain. Like I did this in the past year. I, I created a few CSSs. Um, this was one of them. And a few I created buttons. Buttons, buttons, some buttons I made. So depending on, look at what people like tags. Tags have made like hundred dollar, hundred sales. Notification buttons have made four hundred sales. So I try and I can find what would need my support and just use them. If it's JavaScript, you need to maintain. Yeah. 
Nowadays, uh, color styles is not really now people are looking for variety of the homepage style. If it can support a video, it can support uh, parallax scrolling, it can support maybe boxed and wide layout. Those are the kind of things that people are looking for for HTML design. So, this is how I package my work. I put the HTML. I mean, the, the item preview has chosen it to look good on mobile, on a tablet. And and um, uh, desktop, and then I put the different colors. So, packaging, I think the way you present your work also helps you get you know, the first few sales. And after that, the sales will always follow you. Yes, I don't want to close in on out. So if you have anything, shut out. Yes, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yes, that was an awesome session. So let us, let us appreciate the Thank you so much. Uh, companies that do 
consumer face of goods, so garment production, hydro production, um, innovative production. We also do you know, video games, mobile apps, uh, general IT, e commerce. Uh, we're based in Chile Money, um, and we use equity crowd investment to uh, invest in our companies. We have 200 investors around the world that back our projects. It's a mix of Kenyan diaspora investors as well as uh, institutional investors. And um, you can get my card later, we have an event every month at our office, and we had about 20 Kenyan entrepreneurs come last time to come present, meet with investors around the world, and um, just learn more about our investing style. And we uh, use French French crowdfunding laws, so we can raise up to a million euros per round. Uh, but if we give them to fifty five to thousand dollars, things happen. Good money. Just like the money. <laughs> so uh, after this session, I'm going to do so quickly that I'm right that I'm seeing you places here. Really, most of you are. So, but you can get to know each other. I'm sure Joel is not seeing a quick and get one on one with him. I'm sure it will be a great way to do this. I'm sure you will be with it, but you will be done. So, that also, you will learn from other guys. So, thank you so much for coming today. Uh, you have a friend who was supposed to attend this event. We have recorded everything. Maybe the sound might not be great, but I'm sure it uh, looks good So they can see what went on so that they don't miss the next session. So we have uh, another new session coming in uh, for this month next month. One of them is innovation and entrepreneurship. We have uh, my host, sorry, from the uh, beginning, we will be talking about uh, innovation and entrepreneurship. We have some good experience to share with you guys. So we do a ticket online. And let's meet uh, on uh, April. Also, on Friday, we have some uh, human center design. Similar, for example, if you want to attend, uh, we will be having a target around uh, how we can access your nuts easily. Make sure you get your ticket so that you can uh, become one of the winners. And then they may give you your win on Friday, you are missing. You need just to buy it. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, that's it. Uh, see you around. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I appreciate it. I have a 20 minutes of this lab strap. I'm sure this is